Welcome to our lesson on iteration. So iteration is a way of solving equations, and we use this method when we cannot solve the equation any other way. So iteration means repeatedly carrying out a process. To use it to solve an equation, we start with an initial value. So in this case, our initial value would be XO. And we substitute this value into our iteration formula, so in place of XN. And this will give us a new value of a next value, which is x to the n plus 1, or x subscript n plus 1. And the more we do this, the closer we get to our actual solution. So to work out x1, we're going to substitute xo in place of xn here. So we'll cube it, we'll take away 2, and we'll divide by 10. And this will give us negative 1 cubed take away 2, divided by 10, which is negative 0.3. So now we have our first solution, x1, which is negative 0.3. So to work out x2, now we're going to use x1 cubed minus 2 over 10. And we can substitute in negative 0.3. We'll take away 2 and divide by 10. And this will give us negative 0.2027. So this is x2. To work out x3, we're going to substitute in x2. We'll cube it, take away 2, and divide by 10. Now, rather than replacing the x2 with these long decimals, we can use the answer function on our scientific calculator. So all we're going to do is we're going to substitute x2 with the answer to the previous iteration. So this will be answer cubed minus 2 over 10. And this answer button will be on your calculator. And this will give us negative 0.20083, so on. Now we can work out x4 very simply, just by pressing equals again. And this will give us negative 0.20081. And x5, negative 0.200809. So you can see we're converging on a solution which is approximately 0.2008. Okay, let's try the next question. So you can see in this question, we've been given our initial value x0 of 1. So we'll write this here. And now we're going to work out x1, which is our next iteration. And this is 1 minus, and I'm going to substitute xo in place of xn. So 1 minus xo cubed over 3. We'll substitute in the xo, and this will give us 0. To work out x2, I'm going to substitute in x1. So 1 minus x1 cubed over 3. And I can do this quite simply using the answer function. So 1 minus the previous answer cubed over 3, which gives us 1 third. With this now stored in the calculator, I'll simply press equals again, and this will give us x3, which is 26 over 81. So here we have the first three iterations of our formula. Okay, let's try one more question. So here we have an exam style question, and we've been asked to show that this equation can be solved with this iteration formula by rearranging it to make this. So we can see that every term has been divided by x squared. So the first thing we'll do is we'll have 3x squared minus x cubed plus 3 equals 0, and we'll divide everything by x squared. So now you can see that these will cancel, so we'll have 3 minus and the x cubed divided by x squared will give us x and then the 3 divided by the x squared we can write as a fraction 3 over x squared and this is 0. So now we're going to move the negative x to the right hand side so now we have x is equal to 3 plus 3 over x squared. 
So now we can show that this iteration formula will solve this equation. So we can work out x1 by substituting in x0. So 3 plus 3 over x0 squared. We'll substitute in x0. And we get 1 and 1 third. To work out x2, I'm going to use the answer function. So 3 plus 3 over the previous answer squared. And this will give us 3.27. We'll press equals again. And this will very quickly give us the third iteration, 3.281. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.